So some people think that I don't have um, on the DL costumes. What are those called? Like non-costume costumes. Anyways, this is one of my more chill costumes that I have. That all work. It's like on the down low, fairy-ish type thing. It's got boots with it. Yep. Ta-da! And then I've got butterflies in my hair. So I have green eyeshadow on. I'm just gonna match it with this. I'm just gonna do, I actually have no idea, let's just go with it. What I did here was I just loaded up my three quarters brush with a green split cake that I use for leaves. You can use any green split cake, as long as it's all greens. Actually, you could do this with any color, to be honest. And I just made loopy shapes that are like reminiscent of flower petals. I was going for foresty-ish fairy. I don't know. I was going for like a feel rather than like a look. And just layer those petals. And fill in space that looks like it needs to be filled. Did it. I did the line work with black because it makes it look more like twigs and I haven't really done very many designs like this so I thought I'd try it out I've seen it online and this is a number two round and you'll see here that I messed up Pretty, pretty badly on these teardrops of going in one direction <laughs> to one central focal point. Uh, I just ended up covering it and no one noticed. So, yeah. The prettiest teardrops are the ones that go to one central point. I mean, the groups of them. You can do multiple groups. On the other side, I probably should have put color down be behind it, but I had already washed out my brush, so yeah. I regretted putting the dots on my nose because it ended up smearing with my glasses on. <laughs> So tip for glasses wearers or people that you're painting that have glasses, avoid the bridge of the nose or the sides of the nose right next to the eyes. It's not a good idea. It'll get smeared. I add white dots to accentuate the mysteriousness of it and I decided to add pink dots to it. I have a friend who showed me a trick where you just put the pink glitter on there and it looks it looks absolutely beautiful and I didn't realize this till like the end of my video and I was like well I already have pink dots. I added some more blue teal into my eye color my eyeshadow. I thought it needed something else my eyes. And I'm just using a fluffy unicorn brush. I keep a book of powders in my kit so that if I ever need to like add more shading or whatever and I don't want to use paint for it because it needs to be like subtle. I mean you could do that with paint. I just prefer to do it with powder. Stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll show you how to get the pixie paint off without it going into your hair. <laughs> P 
pixie paint doesn't really go well on top of other paint. So you kind of have to, I use it for smaller designs so that I can accentuate the edges of them. And it gives it added perceived value to the designs. Put your glasses on, see how it looks. Ooh, 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 ooh. And done. Uh, back from my gig tonight and it held up pretty well so here's a quick little tip on how to get this pixie paint off because it is quite difficult to get it all off so you grab you grab a card of some kind I'm going to use I'm gonna use my Fred Myers rewards card you take it And you flick it off. <laughs> yes. This is like the only way you can get it all off. I've had this stuck on my face for days at a time. And then I tried this and it all came off. And I'm like, why did I think of that soon? It works for the big stuff though. Look on. And then you just get the rest of the stuff off with makeup remover wipes or regular wipes. Regular wipes will work too. Not as pleasant as makeup remover wipes, but it'll work. But yeah, that's all for today. If you liked what you saw, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And leave me a comment in the section down below and subscribe if you want to see more yeah i'll see you guys next time have fun bye